Okay, so uh, this video is either going to be about one or two themes. This animated series I found that honestly I feel like it's super underrated and I feel like not a lot of people are talking about it are flight attendants. So I don't know. I'm just going to start talking and see how the shit goes. You know what? They got a union. They'll be fine. Anyways, I started watching this show. Well, I've been watching this show. And, like, the animation is basically made by this one studio called, um, Flying Bark. And honestly, they are fucking goaded. They know what they're doing. Every single fight scene comes in out looking gorgeous. Like, it's actually insane. Like, bro, you think your anime battles are good? You think, bro, these people are on it. They are on it. And nobody's talking about it. And it really is making me sad. Uh, to summarize the plot, it's basically about this, like, Uber driver. Right, his name is MK. And then, um, he gets an Uber, or he, he do it Uber Eats. He's exclusively Uber Eats. Right. And then he goes to, like, this mountain in the middle of the city right cuz like there's like a construction thing happening there and he got the address to go there so he goes in and then he finds like this super ancient like family and it's his mom and her son oh yeah by the way I forgot to mention the mom and her son their names are princess iron fan and red son right um but yeah basically all these characters or most of them are just from journey to the west and if you don't know what journey to the west is uh my brother in christ wikipedia is free use it all right back to the video and they're basically talking about this giant like barney looking motherfucker that's that's his dad right um and it's like long ago monkey king that guy's gonna be important monkey king if you don't know who that is um just look it up i'm not gonna explain it to you maybe put a screenshot of like the wikipedia page and like a little picture maybe a picture of my monkey. I don't Anyways. the monkey king aka Sun Wukong, kong whatever the fuck you want to call him right he uses this stick which he got from like a pillar in an underwater castle from some sea dragon yeah. Gets a bunch of dirt and just shoves this bitch down under the ground. Right, and he put his stuff on top. Only he can pick it up. So, DBK Barney is basically dead. But that was a long time ago, right? So, in the future, where, where this is set, I guess. Right. You know, Red Sun and his mom. Are they trying to get him out? She trying to get him out, especially because that's, that's her baby daddy, bro. But yeah, anyways, MK is up top. He's sitting there, like he's he's between two pipes. He's he's going up there with a bird by there, trying to make his day worse, and he's really trying to not get caught because he's terrified. Yeah, and basically it's just you know a couple minutes of Red Sun, the red one, going on a dialogue, talking about how he's freeing his father with this gauntlet he made. So he's gonna use that gauntlet to take out the staff and shit. And then MK is just up there freaking out. Yeah, anyways, he ends up getting caught and he takes the staff and he goes on this whole ass journey over to like flower fruit mountain where there's like you know monkey king's crib or whatever right and he goes up to him and he's like hey uh i i lost your staff he lost it too by the way but the moron anyways and he goes up to him and he's like you you need to beat these bitches up please and you know what monkey king does he just looks at him and he's like you know what you cool you finna be my successor and then mk just kind of looks at him and he's like successor i'm an uber eats driver bro i ain't even got a car that's a golf cart oh and real quick i just wanted to say 
Um, the red one, you know, the one with the red hair and the big ass cowlick, that's my favorite. I mean, he had the comic relief, unfortunately, but yeah, he's my favorite. You are so beautiful to me. Can you see? But yeah, MK basically goes on a bunch of adventures, and it's hella cool, you know? Because, like, there's this one time where he got stuck in a bottle, called the Caliban. and then he's like, it was a Matrix shit, basically. But except it was, like, a lot more, like, basically, if the Matrix was, like, like a fancy store, the, the, what was it called? I forgot Calabash. what they called it, but the bottle he got stuck in It's called the Calabash. Walmart. Yeah. And, like, you really just gotta see this like show for yourself and like it, I can't put into words how good the animation is but like literally every single fight scene gets better after the previous fight scene you know what I'm saying like it's insane also they have like a really funny visual gags and like every single screenshot of this or every single frame of this show is screenshotable like it is beautiful it is gorgeous Right, and it's funny. Like I guarantee you, you're gonna find a favorite character. Like it's it's impossible not to like at least one character. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Another thing though is like the voice acting talent. Like nobody knows this, but they literally got the voice actor of Goku playing Monkey King. And I know everybody or anybody who listens to this and they like Dragon Ball Z, they know how fucking crazy that is. Cause everybody knows that like Goku was inspired after like Journey to the West kinda so it's like crazy but yeah also like the character designs are pretty cool and it's like um they're kinda limited to what type of um body they have you know what I mean cause they're all Lego and they're trying to make it look like the actual toy right and if you know anything about like toy manufacturing is that they make all the molds look the same that way they can like they don't have to spend that much i mean that's why the teenage ninja turtles all look the same bro and then they tried to branch out a little bit in like 2013 but then people got mad anyways but yeah they like do a really good job like they give them extra hair or they like give them a different like hair accessory they have like different they add on to the outfits to make it stand out you know what i mean like if I get the chance, I'll probably put like some silhouettes on screen and you're probably gonna see what I mean. Cause when you see it, it's literally like, they all have the same base body, but they all look different. And don't even get me started on the promotional art for this thing. Like, it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, I wanna hang that shit on my wall. But I don't think they sell posters. Do they sell posters? They might sell posters, but it's really hard to find anything in the states because that shit just got added to Cartoon Network. But it's not even like it's only in like Australia and like some places in Europe and like in China. That's it. And I'm sitting here like, bro, Why are you still here? what about me? What about me? It's not fair. Every night. I mean, to be honest though, the U.S. do be getting like every single opportunity, especially when like you you know y'all seen the world tour memes yeah but anyways like i feel like if they just promoted it well it would do like more people would know about it you know what i mean i mean you're telling me like it just got added to cartoon Network after it's like season two like that shit should have been there on season one like y'all been seeing cartoon network nowadays it's mid it's mid it's all gone. All the good shows are gone, bro. Not like Ma Magic World of Gumball is not there. Or Amazing World of Gumball. My bad. Like Lego Ninjago is coming to an end. Or I heard that new season isn't that good. And like everything else ended. Everything else sucks now, bro. Like there's nothing else. I'm pretty sure Craig of the Creek ended too, and that one was pretty okay. Right, all the good animated shows out there are getting cut now. Like y'all gotta see this one. Right, we gotta support the animation industry. And this is definitely something where you should start. Like, it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. But yeah, I'm going on rants here. Probably gonna show more official art or whatever. 
you know, maybe some fan art too, because some people do be making pretty juicy fan art. I saw this one wallpaper. I use it for my phone. It's pretty good. I'm gonna try to find the artist who made it. Hopefully, I'll find it. Anyways. Bye. Don't burn my house to the ground! My family's dead! What do I do?